Hey, safety friends, welcome to another edition of the Safety News. This is your news for August 10th, 2020. And the Safety News is brought to you by The Safety Habit, which is available on Amazon Kindle and Kindle Unlimited. So happy Safe and Sound Week from OSHA. And what does Safe and Sound Week mean to you? It can mean whatever you want it to mean at your organization. It's your chance to highlight or otherwise speak more about safety and topics that impact your organization. So use it for what you need to use it for. I do have some ideas posted on my blog from over the years, including this year, and also on LinkedIn. There's some pretty healthy discussion going on on several posts I've had over the past week about ideas you can use for Safe and Sound Week to make an impact at your organization. So of course you can check the OSHA's Safe and Sound Week landing page. There's some information there and actually some really great downloads. And I got into some of that last week during the news. So if you wanna hear more about what's available on the Safe and Sound Week landing page, check out last week's news or just go to the website. It's all right there for you. There's some other ideas about how you can use social media to make a splash with Safe and Sound Week at your organization, so check that out as well. I will also link you to a post from the past about how safety professionals can leverage media and social media to get their safety message across, but more importantly, or more interestingly, get credit. So what do I mean by that? You can give a news organization in your area the scoop on what you're doing for Safe and Sound Week. People love those types of feel-good stories, especially right now. So it's a great time to rehash that blog post and take a lot of those considerations to heart and do it. It's a great time to do these things, especially when we have a lot of virtual and video and we've got news organizations looking to your Twitter and LinkedIn for news. So give them something to report on, something good. So a few programming notes for the Safety Justice League this week. Of course, today we've got the news. Tuesday, we have the Social Media Safety Minute with Jason Lucas, which is always exciting. And I encourage you to go back and listen to all of those. They're only a minute apiece, but he packs so much great information and it's just a great inspiration. Um, If I was giving a tailgate meeting or toolbox talk for a construction site, I would listen to a Social Media Safety Minute to just get hyped. He's got a great style and great delivery that a lot of us could be inspired by. So that's tomorrow. Wednesday, we have a Safety Justice League Presents episode where we interviewed the CEO of the AIHA, Larry Sloan. And I don't know what we thought going into this, but the interview turned out not how we thought. (laughs) So put aside whatever your preconceived notions are of the AIHA and check out that interview. It was really fun. And I'm sure that's going to come across when you listen. On Thursday, there is a relentless safety snake bite with Jason Maldonado, and who knows what he's going to say. It's always something interesting there. Friday is another episode of Safety Justice League Presents, and this Friday, it's a very special episode. It's a crossover with a 90s theme. So if you're a 90s kid that used to watch TGIF shows, you're gonna dig this. It's TGIP. Thank goodness it's podcasts. So Friday, we have a crossover with Probability Matters with Kyle and Mwangi. And so part one, you'll find in the Safety Justice League podcast feed. Part two is in the Probability Matters podcast feed. So check that out. Some quick news about Safety Justice League and how we have picked a charity to donate proceeds of our trading post, our merch store to. So over the past few months, we were promoting that Um, We were donating 15% of Safety Justice League logo gear to the International Justice Mission. And their work centers around prevention of slavery and trafficking throughout the world. So it's it's a huge organization, a huge mission, very important mission. And so check them out. It's International Justice Mission. And we were able to provide $100 to them for them to continue their work and the good things that they do. So it's time to pick a new charity. And we've had a very interesting guest, lots of interesting guests, but one of the more interesting guests that we've had was uh, Jason Patton from Fire Department Coffee. So check out their website and they have a foundation established. And so their foundation is our next pick for our charity. So we will be raising money for the next three months or so that will benefit the Fire Department Coffee Foundation. And so what that does is it's a charitable organization that supports groups that help first responders who are injured on the job, either mentally or physically, or those who are facing other serious health challenges. 
So usually fire department coffee, and they will continue to do this, they donate 10% of their net proceeds to support this foundation. So we're going to, um, not to one up it, but it's what we chose, 15 is a magic number. 15% of Safety Justice League logo gear and apparel for the next three months will be donated to the Fire Department Coffee Foundation. So you can learn more about Fire Department Coffee at firedeptcoffee.com. And it's really good. And make sure you go back and check out the episode with Jason Patton. I didn't appear on that one and I have major FOMO, but I think we're going to remedy that soon. So stay tuned. So anyway, let us know on our uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you are. We want to hear what you're up to this week for Safe and Sound Week and see what creative ideas you're coming up with to promote safety at your organization. This news, I know it gets posted er, slightly after many of you have probably already addressed crews for your Monday morning meetings. So I'm sorry about that, but hopefully you can use this information for later in the week as you continue your Safe and Sound Week festivities. So make sure to check out all the rest of those episodes for this week, get inspired, and have a wonderful safe and sound week.